Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Into the Breach. I am really excited to pick this squad back up. I, these guys are super fun. And honestly, I don't know if we are ever going to find a good use for this Hermes engine thing. It just, it just seems so cool. I might get us hurt trying to, uh, trying to use that. Okay, are we on the track for any achievements? Not really. Um, finish a corporate island without taking mech damage, obviously, is not, not something that we're going to be doing with this squad. So yeah, just don't let anybody die. Okay, straightforward, easy enough. Uh, it doesn't really look like there's, yeah, none of these in particular look any, uh, none of these ones over here in particular look any better than the others. We're definitely going to get a core. We'll figure out what else we want to do later. This is a, uh... This is an enemy dense starting position. Unfortunately, I have no idea how they're going to move when they start doing stuff, so I guess we'll just kind of fan out. Now remember, we have to defend the robots. The robots are going to run around the map, and every time they move, they're going to leave frost mines behind. So it's entirely possible that we'll just be able to push enemies into the mines, or that they will uh, lunge into the mines of their own volition. That's annoying. That's the guy we don't want to be in the in the frost. Okay, this is not totally great. Well, it's not too hard for us to move this guy off. I'm a little more concerned about these two. So I guess this guy's not massive, right? Okay. So all we have to do is push him at all, and he'll charge into some water and die. And we can actually do that with any one of our mechs. Although... Well, I was going to say, actually, I was going to say, if we do it with the leap mech, it's better, because we get to do the, the pounce, which pushes him and does damage here, and then we get to do the spear. But actually, uh, that's not true. Our leap mech is not in the right column, although that is fixable. I don't know that I necessarily want to shoot acid at him just to get that leap and spear thing off. So we gotta push you out. Pushing this guy out probably is what we're gonna use the nanomech for. I'm just thinking like we get a lot of damage onto this Alpha Scorpion. So if I do walk over here and use the jump. What if I what if I shoot this guy first? So we're on three damage with this thing, right? He'll take three damage. He'll take one more damage from being pushed into this guy. We do the jump. It'll do enough damage to kill him. It'll push this guy out to here. I think that's probably the play, right? We just, like, uh... Actually, I'm not sure if... Let's undo that move. Let's do it from here, because I'm not sure if him taking damage on this tile will crack the ice or not. Yeah, you know what, though? Like, I probably want that ice to crack, don't I? Like, if if this does that, that's... Yeah, okay, it does crack the ice, and I think that's fine. More water is better for us, generally. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Okay, and then you have the easiest job in the world. Just push that guy out. We only have two spawns coming up. Actually, this is, like, a very manageable position. We're getting very close to being max level here. That's good. Fleet. Oh no, he can't get away. And once again, the Scion has gotten himself frozen. That is a shame. Okay, that's good. It's sort of good, I guess. Actually, it's a little tricky for us. Oh, man. So we can't move the tank over there. He'll only take extra damage from direct hits. I was thinking, like, we can't, uh, we can't do a jump, right? Because that obliterates one of the robots. I could just walk over here and spear him. I don't particularly want to break this guy out. 
Also, I'm not sure if I stand over here, can we see? Okay, this will apply the acid, even though the damage from the attack is blocked. It will it will apply the acid. That's probably the right thing to do then, right? And then this guy can just hit him. Uh, the push won't matter. Because obviously he can't be moved that way. I think we want to do the push from like really close. I'm just thinking, you know, the more the more we break up this ice, the easier it's going to be for us to put that to our advantage. That'll force you to take cover. Unfortunately, this does not allow me to block any spawns. But at the rate we're freezing the enemies, remember, two more mines are going to get laid down. So we only have two active enemies right now. One of them is really wounded. The other one has acid on him already. You know what, I think we're fine. I'm, I am going to fly over here, just to be in kind of a more central location. But I don't even want to attack or anything. Come on. Somebody fall into this mine. Oh, well that seems suicidal. Okay, so this is ignorable. We can just move out of it. I can push this guy down. The charge won't uh, won't actually have him killing anything though. Uh, if I jump to here, like <laughs> I always want to leap into positions where I'm going to do damage to a lot of enemies, but I don't know that that's actually the right way to solve this, because I don't. I don't know that we want to unfreeze that guy. Well. It does seem like moving the tank around here and pushing this guy down just to uh, occupy these two is right. And then all we actually have to do is get rid of you. Oh, no, that's not true. I have to deal with you as well. So you are actually going to kill that guy. Well, I suppose the benefit of this is that it does let me kill him. So it'll do two damage on the uh, the hit from the jump, and then another four damage on the hit from the spear, and it burrows that guy. It wakes you up, catches me on fire, which is <laughs> not totally ideal. Yeah, I like it though. And actually, it does damage to him, and then pushes him and breaks this guy to the ice too, which we might be able to exploit. So I'm pretty sure I have to do this. As much as I want to do it this way, I think we gotta take care of this guy and I don't think anybody else can do it, right? Ah, alright. This is awkward. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of ways that we can almost make this really good. I guess I could... I was going to say I could roll down here and push him into the uh, into the Scion to kill the Scion, but if I do that, actually, then I won't be able to push this guy down into that space. We're, uh, we're taking kind of a lot of damage on our unstable mech and not getting a lot out of it. There's no sense in pushing him down again. In fact, this is this is the best possible alignment for them. So once again, you don't get to do anything this turn. It feels a little bad, but I don't think there's any move I can make with him that's going to make things better. All right, so the uh, the worm thing went underground with only a single health left. This should have killed it. How does that work? Will it emerge and then immediately die and give me the XP, or what's going to happen here? No, it would seem it just will not emerge. Well. So what I really want to do is jump to here, right? This is the, this is the obvious feel-good play. But it kills the robot if I don't get him out of the way. I think this is totally reasonable. Sure, he's covered with ice, but also he's frozen. So, 
Yeah. Right? That has to be right. <laughs> that has to have been the play. And then also, spear this dude. This thing where we're just like leaping around and stabbing people is extremely good. I don't think I want to do anything else. Now do you start working on repairs? That thing's going to need a little bit of attention. To be perfectly honest, I kind of feel like the leap mech is just going to handle everything. I mean, it's really nice to have a mech that can just do three damage on a shot without needing any help or anything. All right, all we got is a core. Oh, no. Now, I do not remember what my plan was. Who needs this core? And how badly? Okay. You could definitely still use some cores. Picking up extra damage for the jump does seem like a good idea. And in fact... As, as, uh, as worried as I am about doing two damage to myself for an attack, uh, the combination with the spear means that you get a lot of kills on Silica. We could try to save up for... Plus one additional heal. I don't know that that's necessary. Alright, we're going to try this. We only have three more uh, core slots on the Leap Mac. We have to be a little careful about that. Well, this looks like a winner. We don't need the power, but all the stars are over here, so... Kill all enemies before they retreat. If any squad can do it. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little worried about this screwing up our perfect island. But also, you know, we'll be alright. <laughs> So it is currently the case that I, I would only hit him for two, right? Okay, so we need to... Come over here, shoot this guy. Okay, so it's just going to unfreeze. Ooh, this is this guy. I'm glad this guy unfroze early, I guess. Oh, never, <laughs> never mind. He jumped in the acid of his own volition. I don't think I want to do this. The reason I want to do this this way is that I think we can provide a little bit of an assist here. So like, if I go here, oh no, the, I just took the plus damage on jumps thing. And I've already forgotten about that. I was thinking we could, uh, we could tap this guy gently. And then use a push from the nanomech to finish him off, but we cannot, in fact, do that. And if I'm not going to kill him with the nanomech, we may as well just do it this way, with the incredibly overpowered spear. I see why nobody gets to start with the spear. It is, uh... It is a little bananas. How can I set up... Let me set this kill up. Uh, what if I... Here. Let's have you stand here. We just need to get a little bit more XP for Ralph. There we go. Alright, one more of those and he'll be good. All right, well, it looks like we actually will only have one enemy for the final turn, which makes this pretty easy. So, I mean, if we come over here and we push him, then I double spear him and he dies. The question is, is there a way for me to do this that awards the kill to the nano mech? The Unstable Mech does just a little bit too much damage. It, it does simultaneously too much damage and not enough damage. It, would, it needs to reduce him either to three health left or one health left. Right, because we could 
we could touch up with the spear and then kill him with the the push or just kill him with the push i can no i don't think i can do it right i'm pretty sure there's no way for me to kill this guy with the nanomex push so that being the case let's just drop him in the simplest and easiest way which is a pair of spears always I'm glad that we saved these guys until close to the end, because I really do think that uh, they make the game a little too easy. <laughs> oh, we've acquired the Storm Generator. Once again, something that would be a lot better if we were to get it before doing the RST Island. But of course, that would require me to not always go RST first, I suppose. Alright, Block Vex spawning is easy enough. Yeah, I don't know. There's no particular reason to take either one of these first, I don't think. It is really nice to have a flying mech so that you can uh, put somebody down in front of one of these big obstructions and feel reasonably sure that you will get to just uh, still get to deal with stuff on the other side. So, at the end of this, both of the robots have to be alive and frozen. The freeze attack does not push. What is the way we're going to do this? I guess it's easy enough to just do this, right? Yeah, I mean that. Seems like kind of a no-brainer. If we just uh, goose this guy with the acid first. There we go. And then Freezy Tank comes over here and freezes that dude. And this guy's attack is useless. So we're good. Already we're good. Uh, you know, I'm gonna... Does do two damage to me, huh? But it's probably worth it to block the spawn, right? I'll go down to having only two health left, but also we have very few enemies, so we'll have time to fix it up. I mean, I go down to one health, right? Because the... I think it's fine. Obviously, we can freeze the robot this turn. Uh, this does make this a little awkward. Well, remember... I do have the ability to spear and then repair. Or I could move and then repair on top of something else. It would put me at two health and not on fire. So I still get a good spawn block. It's a real shame. These guys have been very smart about um, standing so that if I knock them onto the easiest to spawn to knock them onto, they're still hitting a building. Some cunning play from the aliens here. And this really this guy being here means that our unstable mech can't get through, which makes things a lot more difficult. Spearing this guy to the side doesn't quite do enough damage. I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to push the cannon mech safely. I guess we could uh, we could come over here. Blast him with the acid. Hard enough to push him out of the way. Yeah. Alright, that's what we do. It doesn't mean we don't get to freeze him. If I freeze him first, like what if I what if I went here? Okay, I would still push him. So yeah, we we freeze him first then. And I think we won't break him out of the ice by doing this. Okay, cool. We just turn the ice green. Perfectly normal. And then you move to, like, here. Put out the fire, get yourself a health. And unfortunately, I can't do this in such a way that Nadia ends up on a spawn. But you can do this, deal three damage, and then fire damage will finish you off before you can attack and break out the other tank. Or the other robot, rather. 
we do unfortunately get a lot of spawns. Not totally ideal. But also, we've made it very difficult for them to interact with the buildings, so they're going to spend a lot of time doing a lot of nothing here. Hmm. What do I want to do? a lot of damage. It unfreezes one of my critters, but not necessarily the end of the world. Ah, the scary part of this is that I can't, I cannot do it twice. Because that's what I really want to do. It would kill both of them, but unfortunately, the first one unfreezes the robot and the second one kills the robot. So, let's see. Freeze tank can come down here and deal with this guy. Or this guy. Uh, not really sure what my plan is here. Uh, you know, okay, what we could do... Acid you. Now you're on fire, you're covered with acid. Hit you for four. You die to fire damage, which is good both because I don't have to do anything else, and also because of the fact that, uh... Oh, wait, I can't do this this way. Unless... I guess I can, actually. I was going to say I can't do this this way because even if his second action is repair, he doesn't survive the turn. But we can fix that. We just do that. It's a little a little painful for Nadia. We're kind of bouncing her off of every surface on the level. But now the repair will keep me alive. You get unfrozen, but we have plenty of time for a refreeze later. Yeah, this is fine. I'm pretty sure freezing him again won't do anything right now. Okay, yeah. And there's our final level up. All we have to do is get that freeze back on. Oh, well, they're certainly making it easy for us. Alright, so you're already on fire. Once again, we can pretty much just... Like, roll up behind you and shoot you. It's the, the thing we do before anything else. Freeze that. And you can just actually get out of the way. And fly you over here. Yeah, okay. Do this, and then double spear for the kill. And all Nadi has to do is just shoot this guy in the back, right? And then he dies to fire damage. I feel like our damage output is really extreme. Like, like very, very good. Also, I appreciate that uh, Pinnacle is cool with us protecting all the robots by coating them with acid. Okay, Nanomech gets a free reactor. It uses it for plus two health without question. Alright, and there's no reason we would not do this, right? Like, yeah, there's no... Yeah, okay. Just making sure, you know, sometimes I make assumptions, and then they turn out not to be true. I think probably, if you've been watching this channel for very long, you've seen one or two instances of that. Double-checking myself. Come on, move into position so let me deal with more than one of you at a time. There you go, that's perfect. So we have a we have a great spear here. We are not going to get to block any spawns this turn, which does have me a little worried. But like if I come down here, shoot you from this side, that leaves me in a position where I could block spawns. You know, in the future. Silica just does that to buy us some time. Right, I feel like we got pretty good level ups on this squad. A lot of free reactors and stuff. This is not great.
Well, this solves this easily enough and gets us a spawn. A spawn block. Although, actually, it also means that I get hit for three damage. Okay, this is tough. We might uh, we might lose a, a grid here. Let's see. One thing I can do is this. That seems pretty safe. Killing this guy means that our acid mech can then just push him. Right, I don't see a way... Yeah, I don't see a way to do... Like, the only the only thing we could really do to stop him is to move up here and drop the spear. <laughs> this is a terrible time for the Hermes engine. I wish this, I wish this guy wasn't cleverly attacking from a position that is in neither my row nor my column. Okay, what about if I... Nope, I don't. This guy and this guy can only be dealt with by the leap mech. Alright, well, let's just do this. I'll take the one grid damage. We'll recover it. I have, uh, I have no doubt of that. I'll move forward so that I don't slam myself into a mountain for no reason. So if we kill uh, most of our enemies here, we'll get more spawns next turn, which will make things a little bit easier for us. So I could jump up here and just kill this guy. If if I think we're going to take the one damage anyway, why not just kill him? Right? Yeah, there's no sense in letting him deal this damage. I should kill him. I know that looked heartless. Although, the last thing that these people saw was pretty cool. So, you know, we, we should get some credit for that. Alright, so we gotta get two spawn blocks here. Well, I can kill this guy. Unfortunately, I deal so much damage to myself when I jump that I will not then be able to jump onto one of the spawners. So you need to, like, come to here, finish him off, and push yourself onto that one. Okay, that's solved, and then we just spear this dude. Okay, maintaining our perfect island bonus. Not necessarily doing the best job in all ways, but... We'll build a nice memorial to those people. It's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, well, you're obviously dead. Here, Ralph, you get the you get the honors. There was probably a better way to handle the situation that would have arisen or a better better way to handle the situation in the previous turn that would have prevented this from having arisen in the first place. That's my guess. I don't at the by the time that turn happened, it was too late to do anything about it, I think. But we probably could have handled the first turn better. The previous turn, rather. Alright, remember, as horrible and Malthusian as this sounds, it is better to lose a power in order to maintain your perfect island. That is a net power gain. It's horrible, but it is a net gain. Oh, I was very excited about jumping into this location. I guess I wouldn't have been able to do that anyway. On account of the Scion flying into a building if I did. Okay. How do I want to handle this? So obviously the Scion is still a problem. Using the Science mech to push this guy to here. And then having my... Leap mech jump in here. Feels pretty awesome, but it doesn't really solve our problem. We have three VAC that have to get moved. So we can use the nanomech to park here, push that guy that way. 
The leap mech can stab you. Hmm, this Hornet Leader is actually kind of a problem, huh? Well, it's only going to be two damage, though. So I could just do this. And then the unstable mech eats a hit. Which is fine, because we all have five health now. We can afford to tank for the civilians a little bit. Okay. I think that's the right play. It's not awesome for us, but... Hold on, I probably want to do this first. So we get some good acid onto you. No, we want to take this shot from right here. Yeah, that's not so bad. And even, like, even through the bonus health from the Soldier Scion, we just... We do so much damage. We definitely need to get some heals up now, though. That's bad. That's a bad situation. I guess there's some good news. So if we move the tank, and then we have the nanomech come up here and push this guy upward with acid, we can kill him with the spear, and then do like a leap? Yeah. It's like, let's do this. We have to get health on Nadia. I push you up. We get to spear you out. And then, uh, yeah, I'd probably just, like, jump, right? And in fact, this jump is pretty great, too, because it means that now that will happen, which is going to look pretty good. We're going to end up with not a lot of enemies on the table, which is good because we need to spend some time playing repairs here. God, that was that was pretty solid. Okay. Now we did figure out that as long as I get a killing blow with the damage I deal, I get the heal, mech ends the turn alive. However, we want to do it from this space, I think. Because if I fire from here, I'm going to catch the space on fire and myself. And then take another one damage at the beginning of the enemy turn and die. Uh, we also need to deal with you. So obviously, I would love to like move to here. Toss the spear out. Because that kills the soldier scion and pushes this guy out of the way. We cannot just move the nano mech to here and fire upward because the Alpha Scarab will, uh, will then be firing on the space the nano mech is in, doing enough damage to kill him. Hmm. Okay, how about this? What if we move the nanomech to here, shoot acid this way, deals the damage on the push, and then the leap mech leaps to here, and then to... No, this... That's too much damage. I don't get enough kills to, uh... To justify that, right? Because the leap to here would be lethal for this guy. I would take two damage, the heal would put me at one, and then the leap to here... Oh no, the leap to here is a bad idea anyway. It pushes him into the corporate tower. We can't do that. This is a situation. Okay. If I stand here and use the spear, it doesn't... Oh no, it pushes. But I can stand here and use it. And then... The nanomech just pushes this guy down, and that doesn't get me damage on him or anything, but it works. And then also this happens. Okay. It's close. Yeah, this works. It's not the prettiest, but it, it, it does the job. It'll have to do. It does mean that we have three active enemies, and I really haven't... 
I'm very disappointed that I have not been able to devote time to killing the Scion. Because, man, I hate these things. But there just keeps being too much else to do. Hmm. Well. That's a problem. It's a real issue. So, it's not too hard to get this kill. Unfortunately, the unstable mech is going to have a hard time contributing. Actually, that's not even true. Check this out. Push this guy into the water, right? Now the unstable mech can come over here and Hermes engine and die in a fire. Shoot, that doesn't work. <laughs> Uh, Silica, can you stand here and make it so the Hermes engine ends one space earlier? There we go. And then, I don't know, <laughs> do this. Finally kill that Scion. There we go. I told you guys that Hermes engine would have some use. I mean, honestly, this would have been a tough one to uh, to deal with without it. Without taking any extra grid damage. There were definitely a bunch of ways to just accept a little bit of grid damage and get the job done. Lily Reed. Well, Lily, I believe you are a pilot that we don't have unlocked yet, so we're taking you. And then we have all of this reputation and all of this extra gear. Right, there's, no, there's no world in which I hold on to the Storm Generator... Or the Gemini missiles, which I bought exclusively, er, uh, expressly for the purpose of banking reputation from Island Island. Now that we've unlocked you in the hangar, I'm sorry, your job here is done. Uh, the thing is... She's plus one reactor. And she's almost leveled. And her plus three move on the first turn of every mission, like, I wonder if... I wonder if it's worth dumping Nadia for her. Nah, you know what? Nadia's been faithful to us. Nadia's, Nadia's a good pilot. She works well with the team. You know, the personality thing is, uh, is playing okay. I guess we could dump Ralph. Yeah, actually, his special bonus is nothing now that he's max level. And the plus three grid defense that he has on him, I don't value at all. So he's actually just plus one reactor and nothing else. She's already better than that. Ralph, stay here. Teach them about, I don't know, the humanity or something, dude. I don't, I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> just go away. <laughs> That's a pretty neat weapon. Uh, I don't think we want, like, I'm happy with the gear that we have, though. So I think what we're doing here is taking four reactor cores and a grid power. <laughs> All right, now here's the question. Do we want to put Lily into this thing? I think the answer to that is no, right? I think I would rather have Nadia pilot that. Put Lily in something that gets kills so that she can actually do some damage. And plus, that, that plus move on the first turn thing. That could be relevant. Okay, so... The thing is, we're, uh, we're kind of running out of stuff to spend reactors on. Like, we know for sure he's getting three of them. And then you take plus two health. We could give, like, we could give two of the reactors to Nadia and turn off the plus health and go for the big heal. And actually, we've seen several situations already where, due to the increased damage of our other mechs, we're having problems that would have been solved by two points of healing per kill. So yeah, let's do at least that. Then the question is, do we put the other reactor in here and get our plus two health back? Or would I rather... Oh, you can't use it. You, you are maxed out. So it's like that against plus one additional move all the time, or maybe plus one, uh, plus even more damage on the unstable cannon. I think I'm going to do it here. Two health is just, it's so precarious. I don't feel comfortable with it at all. And then you are getting, like, plus one damage? Or... 
plus range plus move, maybe? Having this thing affect three tiles would be pretty nuts, and I feel like we use the spear more than we use the legs. But also, it doing three damage to all the targets we hit with it, it seems so good. Yeah, alright, I can't... I can't turn that down, it's so powerful. These are both real powerful, but this, I think this is better. Okay, I think we have an incredibly tough team here. Tough and dangerous. And we're still on track for the one achievement that we're still angling for. Alright, I think things are going pretty well here. That is going to be it for us for today, of course. Detritus Disposal is next. Come back next time to see us shoot a whole bunch of Vec corpses into acid. Because let's be honest, by the time we move them, they're already dead. And we'll see you then.